for Windows Server 2012 on the Amazon EC2 cloud. Uh, your best bet to do this the fastest way is just go to toolbars and then right click on address and then basically you can either go to skype.com but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cop I'm gonna copy and paste this link for you skype.com download for Windows so you guys can download the program directly instead of trying to run the Microsoft Windows Store app that crashes a lot it's just it's not a very good app in my opinion I'd recommend downloading the Skype client for um, the Windows itself so once you're on this page it will either come up with a icon or go ahead and download it. I've already downloaded it but I'll go ahead and uh, we'll just go ahead and run it so basically it will download the Skype full setup and run you'll notice the EC2 cloud it has really fast download speeds so it will be downloaded and able to run really fast you can have it uh, start Skype when the computer runs if you're just running Skype from the EC2 cloud you'll click on I agree uh, you can install I guess click to call if you feel like it so you'll basically do a normal Skype install and you'll notice that this is actually not my real computer again we're on the Amazon EC2 cloud and I'm running this within a virtual machine that I created for free from Amazon and I'm gonna use it to host Skype so I can log into my Skype account if someone resolves my IP and tries to DDoS me they'll be DDoSing the Amazon C2 cloud not myself and again I'm sure Amazon has some type of protection against that I just recommend people who are fearful about getting on Skype and protecting themselves to use this free service to have Skype on a machine 24 7 or whenever you want to use it and have it available at your fingertips this is one of the easier solutions out there you don't have to purchase a VPN you don't have to purchase a VPS you get a basically a virtual private server for free from Amazon with their EC2 cloud and I'll be using this Windows server even though it has low memory and uh, RAM it's able to run Skype and you have 750 hours which I talked about in my previous video so we'll go ahead and uh, finish this install basically you'll load the address bar copy and paste skype.com here and download the client it's pretty self-explanatory I will have the links in my YouTube video so you just press enter in the address and it will pop up to this page and you'll download and run which we just did it's installing when it's done I believe it will launch we'll find out right now I'll double click it there you go got Skype installed ready to go